Evening guys. So I just thought I'd just do a quick vid on how I've set up my um my Mac audio with OBS and Studio One or any DAW I guess and um the Revelator. Now I'm using the Revelator IO24 interface, not the mic. So in a nutshell, what I've done in OBS, I'll just quickly bring OBS in. I know you've got this double screen thing here, but that doesn't matter for this purpose. So I've set, you can see my Revelator mic here. So I've named this Revelator mic one, this audio input. So I've, flicked, I've got three audio inputs here. Revelator mic one, if you look at the setting on here, this is, it. This is just in Revelator IO24, that's it. Okay, cancel that. I'll, I'll go through some more bits in a minute. My DAW, which I've named Studio One Stream Mix A. Look in properties. Revelator IO Stream Mix A. Up there. Okay. And my Mac Audio, I've named Stream Mix B. I've done this because it does get complicated. You can lose what's going on. So there you go, Stream Mix B. Okay, now you can see that that's obviously happening. So I'll, I'll bring this back in and out as we need to look at it, just so we don't get this double screen thing. So let's go to the Revelator. So on the Revelator, this is this I'm listening to my main mix at the moment. So these three faders here, this one, this one, and this one, are the mix that I'm listening to. I've got my mic one here, Studio one. DAW and Mac Audio I've put on stream on Virtual B. Now, in order for the Mac Audio to make its way into this Revelator, I have to do something in Mac settings. I do at least. This is how I'm doing it. I'm not sure if it's all correct. So I go into the sound settings, and I've selected here. Look, Revelator IO24 Stream Mix B as my output. Now. Okay, so I don't actually hear anything in my monitors because um, I do in the headphones, but not in my monitors because I haven't got any output from my revelator at the moment, but that doesn't matter. So if we look at Stream Mix A, although I'm getting mic input, I've got it muted and I'm still getting it in my OBS. I don't need any other thing other than Studio One. So let me just play Studio One. When you're on your own. So you can see Studio One here in Stream Mix A. Okay, so that's bringing in Studio One or the DAW. If I go to Stream Mix B, everything's down and muted except what was Virtual B, which is now my Mac Audio. So if I then bring in this again, let me just make this a bit smaller so we can fit it in. And if I play, I've got a little bit of YouTube here, which is I'm using Justin Hawkins because I know he's a good guy and he won't mind me using it. Let's just play a bit of his audio. Again. You can see um, Mac Audio at the good top there. To the so whatever I play through my, my YouTube channel, Justin Hawkins rides again. There you go. So whatever I play through through my Mac as the audio, it'll come into Stream Mix B. My Revelator mic is coming to, into Mic 1. My Studio 1 Stream Mix is in A. One second, there's a cat. Let's just get rid of that a second. And and that's it really. The, 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 the main mix... Uh, hold on. The main mix is, is what I'm listening to. Stream Mix A is controlling the output volume to to uh, Studio One on OBS and Stream Mix B is controlling the output. If I, if I try and do everything through one stream, it just doesn't work. I'll get all sorts of things going on. So if anybody's got a better solution to this or, you know, how I bring in more streams and more inputs, if I wanted to, let me know because it's a bit of a mystery to me. But... That's what I'm doing. I'm recording the morning to OBS. And yeah, the cat's making an appearance. 
and um and that, that it works it works but whether it's correct who knows let me know cheers guys